Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great video on Microsoft Forms today on how to show a progress bar so when people are taking your survey or your poll, they know how much longer they have because it drives me crazy when someone sends me a survey and I'm like, how much longer does this go on for? And maybe I get out of it when I only had one or two questions left. So I have already started Microsoft Forms and I've already created the form with questions. So this video is just about the one topic, the progress bar. Just to show you this, if I go to preview, question one, two, question three, question four, and then submit, there is no progress bar showing. There's also something called sections and they're not available. If I come up into the top right corner, there is more form settings and I go to settings. Show progress bar is grayed out. So I can't even do it yet. So here's the trick to this. By the way, if you click on this little icon for information to help, it tells you some information that um, you may or may not understand what it's saying. So let me just show you how this works. You need to put sections in between your questions. So by default, I know you don't see it, but there is a section right above here, above question one. You never see the first section until you turn on sections. So I want to put a section between question one and question two question two to question three and three and four. Really simple, I'm gonna select question one like I'm editing the question. Click, here is the option to add new. So this is what's gonna throw people. Add new, you assume is adding a question and for almost every one of the icons you see down below there, choice, text, ratings, date, even hitting the drop down, it is adding a question type. What is not a question type but shows up here is the word section. Section is not a question type. So when I click section, I could name this section. So here would be an example. If I was saying what Microsoft Office applications do you use, I could have a section for Microsoft Word with multiple questions, then a new section for Microsoft Excel, multiple questions, Microsoft PowerPoint. You don't have to name the section. So I got rid of it, but the section's still there. And if you recall, I said there's always one section. Now it is so showing. So section one has question one, but it could have multiple questions. Section two, one question is perfect. So here I go again, adding section three, click, add new, arrow, section, Get rid of that. Question three, add new, last one right here. Section, I'm gonna leave the word section. I, th I feel like if you don't type something, it'll work. Let's see if that's true. So now that I've got four sections, let's see if the progress bar shows. I bet it doesn't. Preview, but the sections are clearly working. Next, next, next. The word section does show, by the way. So let's go fix that real quick or it'll drive me crazy. There you go. So you put in your sections and now when you come up here to more form options settings, it is available to you. So it breaks up the sec, it breaks up the progress bar based on your sections. Here we go. I'm just picking answers, but notice it says page one of four and it's got a little, little, uh, bar chart over here, click, moving along, click, next, next. There's your progress bar in Microsoft Forms. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.